guys welcome back to my channel I'm mama Sam here I'm a first-time mom with a three-month-old and today we are making homemade pizza and I'm gonna attempt to make homemade bread but with this video I actually got a reach out from Nano BB the bottle brand I use and I'm gonna do a little video on them because I use their silicone bottles so first we're gonna make some pizza and then we're gonna talk about these bottles so let's have some fun his channel yep sam ray he does watches and other things a whole bunch of different reviews and other videos so more coming soon yeah every saturday so it is 505 545 545 i'm way off <laughs> and we are out for a walk i'm sorry it's rainy i mean windy and the Oof. sun's in our face the sun is in our face but we need to get exercise so that's what we're doing and little baby is snoozing which is good because babies need walks and babies love strollers. Well, my baby does. So let me see. Let's. So what I'm going to talk about today is my nano bb silicon bottles um, the reason i use these is because my baby has taken a liking to these and they're better than that dr show i mean dr brown bottles that my son tried and didn't really like so i'm gonna show you how i clean them how i wash them um how i heat them up all that fun stuff so yeah let's begin all right, so right here I have my clean bottle, which is all clean, sanitized. And then here I have a dirty bottle, which is, has old milk in it. And then um, here I have freshly sanitized bottles. So this is a Nano EV sanitizer. So I just removed the lid and I sanitized these last night and they're freshly sanitized. Make sure you dry these off before you put them together. So I have a rag here. So I'm just gonna pat dry these a little bit. And then we have our pieces. We have this piece, which goes on top right here and it locks just like that. And then we have the nipple, which has three um, points in it, which will help babies anti-colic. It helps them with gas and stuff like that, if you could see it. So yeah, and then we have the nipple attachment here. So I'm gonna pat that dry. The reason I pat these dry is so, so there's no buildup anywhere and stuff like that. So I just slide the nipple into the, into there and I pull it. Pretty easy, pretty simple. And I take this and I screw it on. See, they're different colors cause I got like different types, different colors when I ordered them, which is okay, but they still latch on the same. So that's how I clean it. So I have all my clean bottles here, um, put those aside. And then that leaves me with the Nano BB um, 
sanitizer with the leftover water. Don't use the same water to reheat again because you don't know what the sanitizer bought water has caught from these bottles to sanitize them. So don't use that again. So we're gonna move over to the sink and I'll show you how I rinse and stuff like that. So yeah, I have my sanitizer with the water. I'm just gonna dump it out in the sink and put that aside. So then I have a little system here. So if this is by the sink, if this is right here by the sink, then I know that um, I can put uh, bottles in here to be sanitized. If it's not by the sink, then the bottles have been sanitized. So I put it by the sink. I have my old milk here. Dump it down. I dump it straight forward because it leaves like stains in my sink. So I grab this. Put a little Dawn soap in there. Scrub it out with my handy dandy uh, munchkin bottle scrubber. And then I'll close it. Do the same thing. And then I'll keep rinsing until there's no more soap left. Because you don't want your baby drinking soap. And make sure the water is warm when you clean. See, there's still soap in there. Or you can just save a bunch and pop them in the dishwasher if you're doing a dishwashing load. Um, so, yeah. Put this right there. Take this out. Clean the nipple. So, now I have, now I have fully washed my pieces. And then I'm going to put them in the sanitizer. So I'll show you. So I always put the bottle in the middle because with the roundness of the top of the sanitizer, um, if you put it on the side, it's not gonna close properly. So I always put the sanitizer bottle in, or the silicone bottle in the middle. So I can fit about three of them here as you saw before. And then around this part, I just put the attachments that go with this type of bottle. And sometimes I use a sanitizer to sanitize my, um, my pacifiers. And I also use it to sanitize my breast pump pieces. So this has come in handy a lot. Um, so yeah, once this is full, I pop it in the microwave for three minutes and 50 seconds and it is good to go. So that is how I use my sand my bottles. And then, yeah. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm showing you how I use the Nano BB Wood formula. So I don't pump that much. So I pump on the go. So, I mean, I pump when there is a demand. So I have two ounces of formula that I just recently pumped. And so I will pretty much take it some formula, fill it with warm water, shake it up. Make sure you shake it up before you put the breast milk in or else you can make your baby sick. And then um, I'll pour the breast milk into the bottle and then I'll add some warm water and mix that together. That is my method on putting breast milk and formula together because I don't make that much, but I still want my baby to have the vitamins he needs. Um little disclaimer do not put silicone bottles in the microwave so I'm gonna show you guys how to do what I do with the formula because you can't put the silicone bottles in the microwave obviously so what I do is I take a cup that says mom on it and I will pop this in the microwave for about a minute so I'm gonna do that quick so as I'm waiting for that, I will get the bottle ready. So since this doesn't have any breast milk in it, I will do two and a half scoops of formula for my baby. So one, two, and a half. Because that's about what he likes. And since sometimes that water will actually get too hot, he's getting wiggly. Sometimes when the water gets too hot, I will put a little bit of cold water in first. And 
and let that just mix up while I'm waiting for the warm water. And as I'm waiting for the warm water, I will clean out the dirty bottle. So it's, yeah, it's all about time and management. Right, all about time management, boy? So since dad is ready, I'll go over and get the water. And I will pour it in here, but I won't pour all of it. I will do about seven ounces because my baby eats about six to seven ounces. So, and then I'll mix it up. And the cool thing about the silicone bottles is they keep their heat for a while. So it'll keep their heat for about two to three hours. Um, so yeah, this is about seven ounces. So they'll keep their heat about two to three hours. So then I can make a bottle in the morning for my husband and he can feed the baby around eight or nine and it'll still be warm. So, yep. Um, let's see what else. Yeah, don't put the silicone bottles in the microwave because then they'll get destroyed, obviously. So. guys so first I want to talk about how we are starting to do cloth diapers on my baby and he is three months old so this is about the time to start uh, we started yesterday and so what we're gonna do is instead of buying a bunch of cloth diapers all at once and then figuring out that he doesn't like it and we don't like it we're just gonna have like 12 of them or six of them and then like rotate them out and see how comfortable we feel with it and how comfortable he adjusts to it. So instead of just like jumping all into it, we're just gonna go from there, start up small and then go big. So before I had my baby, I actually um, um, bought six cloth diapers cause I was like, you know, I really wanna take cloth diaper. I wanna take that route because uh, financially that's gonna be better instead of spending how many dollars a month on diapers. So some people spend like $100 to $200, $300 on diapers a month. Depends on the brand you get. I get the Eden brand, so I spend about every week and a half I have to get a new box of diapers. And that's like $50 for a box of diapers. That's too much, you know. I could use that money for other things, for my baby, for our bills, other things like that. Financially, it is better. So, <laughs> we are going to start cloth diapering. And so, yeah. Um... I want to show you the diapers I got. I got them off Amazon. I will link them below and I'll show a little picture here. But I got the pocket diapers that look like this. So they have these little pocket, I mean, they have these little like buttons right here that you can adjust to them. I He, my son actually wore these when he was a couple weeks old because he was peeing through his newborn diapers. And uh, we tried to put a one size on him size one and they were way too big, but he was peeing through the newborn. So he was like in that in-between phase. So we actually put one of these over his diaper at night. So he actually wore these when he was a newborn over the diaper. But, um, so we have the pocket diapers and they have these little buttons that you can grow. They can grow with you all the way to toddler age. And you can adjust right here. The length of them too um so yeah it's very simple it's very easy and then inside this is what it looks like on the inside the padding and it has the little piece right here this piece is what they pee on so when they pee it actually will go through this diaper part and onto here so um yeah this is what they pee on so we had these, we had our baby go through six of these in one day, pretty much, or like half a day. So yeah, he went through six of these in a half a day. Sorry, I'm eating like rice, rice cakes to help boost my milk supply because rice cakes are number one, they're healthy for you. And number two, they have grains in them that will help me boost my milk supply. So, um, 
So yeah, we got these pocket diapers. Um, these are like $40 on Amazon. They were $60, they went down in price. Um, but I've been watching them. They fluctuate back to 60, down to 40, up to 60, down to 40. So I got six more at $40. And I'm like, honestly, I've got 12 here that I can rotate and that's 12 diapers or how many diapers he's gonna go through that won't go in the landfill, that is eco-friendly, safe, and stuff like that. So, yeah. Also, let me show you one more thing. So what I had to grab was this thing. Sorry, I'm looking at my computer, there's something going on. Okay, what I had to grab was this. This is a, like, a, this is biodegradable lining that you would grab a strip and you would put it right here in the diaper and what you would do is like when the baby poops or something this catches all the solids or whatever you know it catches all the solids of the poop and so you would just take the piece i'll use this as an example so you put this like this just like that so when he poops you just take it and you like bundle it up and then um, technically they say you can throw these in the toilet, but from what I've seen in the reviews and stuff, people don't wanna try to do that because they don't wanna fix their toilet. So I'm not gonna do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put these in a doggy bag and throw them in our diaper genie, which eliminates smells, right? Cause you would do that with a regular diaper, right? You would take the poopy filled diaper and you throw it in your diaper genie, right? Or what some people would actually do too, is they take the solids and they bring it to the toilet and they just dump it in the toilet. So <laughs> we're gonna figure out the method that works best for us to help with the poopy diapers. <laughs> we haven't dealt with the poopy diaper for cloth diapers yet, but throughout my vlogs, I'm pretty sure you guys will see how we deal with it. People have their different methods on how they deal with poopy diapers. Some people have like a day attached to their toilet. Some people don't have some people take it outside and rinse it. And so we will figure out the best method, method that works for us. And you guys can figure out the best, best method that works for you. All right, so I have my son in a diaper because I don't really want to show you him naked, obviously. So we have the diaper right here. We have the buttons in the front and these buttons right here. So I'm just going to lift him up and put this in like this just like a normal diaper you would just put it on like this and then these are just pretend these are the wings of your diaper and then you adjust it to his size so his size is just one button in the middle and the cool thing is that these diapers will grow with your with your baby so as i said his size is right here, so I just need to fill out one button here. And that's his size. And then you take this layer down here and you adjust it too so it's not so saggy at the bottom. I know, baby, it's okay. I know it feels weird. And then you just button the last button. And then you just make it seamless and adjust it as you go. Tuck that in there. So that's how it would look. It wouldn't look as bulky because he has a diaper on, obviously. But um, you adjust it to your baby's size and adjust it to how he feels in it. So that's just how you put it on. And yeah, how do you feel? Okay. Yeah. So, yep. I hope this video was helpful. Um, and yeah. And oh yeah. And to get it undone, what you do is you just unbutton it here, unbutton it, unbutton it, unbutton it. Make sure you unbutton it here. And obviously, you would have the new. You would have the new diaper underneath, like a regular diaper. You put the new diaper underneath. So I can adjust that. I won't put the liner in that one because I won't do that yet. So obviously you would put the new diaper underneath and you would fold it out 
and you would put this in the bag for later use. So over there in that corner, right there, maybe back up there, right there is where I have all the dirty diapers that I wore today. So yeah. All right guys, so we've used six cloth diapers. This is our first day using cloth diapers. So we've used six because I've only had six. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash these six. And so far we've only had pee and we haven't had dealt with poop yet. But when we get to poop, I will make sure to show you what I do with the poopy diapers. But right now we just had pee and this is what I've learned from <laughs> cloth diapers. So I have the pocket diapers. So in this bag, I put all the dirty ones that I've had all day. And then we have the diaper here. Inside we have the thing. So see, it's all, that's it. And we just put that in there with that. And we just keep doing that. So I go in there and I take out the thing inside. And put that in there with that. And I keep doing that until I've done all six of them. As you see, it's just all pee, which is okay. And I keep doing this. And so far, I like it. And we haven't had a mess, and my baby likes it. And then, ooh, this one's really wet, but that's okay. And then also, I'm gonna throw the bag in there too. All right, guys, so I got a little interrupted with the BB, he's right here. So I put all of the uh, cloth diapers in the wash. So we're going to wash them with the Honest Baby brand, which is what I use for my baby clothes. And they also recommend the first generation laundry detergent too. So I, didn't, I don't have that, so I'm just using the Honest one. So we're gonna do one rinse. We're gonna do it on warm. We're gonna do delicate and then um, a light load since oops, it's a light load in there. <laughs> so um, actually we're gonna do two rinses to just to make sure everything is off. Um, so yeah, honestly, financially, I think that I was spending $200 on diapers versus an extra like $10 on your water bill a month is honestly better than spending $200 on diapers. So we're gonna try to do this for two weeks straight and then I'll keep vlogging on how my cloth diaper goes. So this is just the first day. I ordered six more that are coming tomorrow. So we'll have 12 cloth diapers for him. Right at night, we put them in a regular disposable diaper. So I'm not getting rid of all of the disposable diapers right now. Um, so I am I just have a little box of like disposable ones on the side for like travel or at night. So yeah. And then uh, we'll show you our method on how we handle poopy diapers. And the ones that we just put in the wash now are just all pee. Thank goodness. <laughs> so um, yeah, that is what's going on right now. Uh, little baby is in the disposal right now because we ran out of diapers, but um, we're gonna start this washer. We're gonna get it going. We're gonna switch over to the dryer. What you can do, since it's late at night, we're gonna pop these in the dryer, but you can also have them sit out in the sun and dry them. That's probably the best, meth best mes method is having them dry out in the sun, but um, you can also pop them in the dryer. Since we're doing it late, we're gonna just put them in the dryer. Right, boy? Yeah, his, this is his first day. It's like a newborn trying the, trying on the diaper for the first time. They don't like it at first. So, you know, he enjoyed it, he enjoyed it. But after a while, he's like, wait a minute, what's going on? And now he's getting used to it again. So yeah, we'll get this washer going and to the dryer and then we'll have new fresh ones tomorrow. Hi. Yeah. All right, pressing start and we're ready to go. So we are on day two. Um, right now he has a disposable diaper on because I just took these out of the washer this morning. So I have to take the, 
the liner and I have to put these in. So, all right, guys, move my rice cakes. <laughs> so you have your diaper right here, right? And then you have the line, the padding. So what you're gonna do is at the end here, you have your little pocket. So what I find easier is just you, you put it on your hand like this, put it flat on your hand and you take it and you put it in the pocket like this and you just slide it in. Make sure there's no bumps or anything as you put it in because imagine like you putting on underwear and there's like bumps and it's uncomfortable and you're like wiggling around and it doesn't feel good. That's how it's gonna feel like a baby if there's bumps everywhere. So to eliminate those bumps, just go back around. I'm gonna unsnap this. Just go back, recheck for any bumps, stretch it out. And then this lining here is for extra padding for the front of the diaper. So yeah, that is the pocket diaper brand that I use. And so when I store these, I just wrap it up like this. I put it like this, I put it like this, and I actually fold it in half. And I store these in a basket in our changing area like this because I wanted to have them take up as little room as possible where I store them. So once I get these all wrapped up, I'll show you where I store them. All right, guys, so this is, ooh, yeah. So this is where I store my uh, diaper bag, my cloth bags right next to the changing table. So there's easy grab and I store the bags that need to be thrown in the laundry on the wall right there. Um, so I have to add the other bag. So that bag is full. It has to go in the laundry. And so, yeah, that's how I store them. And these are the liners that I put next to them. And right below that is like my wipes. So that is an easy get to get to. And I got this, got this basket at five below for like $5 literally. So that is how I store my diaper bags as of right now. And if I get more, then I'll have to find another place to store them. But this works for now. All right, guys, so I'm going to end this vlog video here. Um, I'm talking a little quiet because the baby's sleeping in the background, but I'm gonna end the video here. I hope that you saw my Nano BB bottles and you saw me starting to learn how to use cloth diapers. Um, I hope you go on this adventure with me. I hope you click like, subscribe, and follow. Um, yeah, so, you probably see more of me talking about my cloth diapers because I want to show you how effective it is and the ins and outs and the pros and cons of cloth diapers. And um, so the reason I also did the Nano BB fun is because Nano BB reached out to me and I'm not paid advertisement right now, but they reached out to me if I could talk about their products and why I use them. That's why they are all included in this video. So please follow, like, subscribe, and bring me a cookie and some Starbucks and enjoy your day. And moms, you are awesome. Bye.